Don't be fooled. Although this Republican red wave in the elections last night is an indication of genuine major dissatisfaction with the Democrats, it is likely that the powers that be allowed these red wave results to happen. These favorable red wave results allow Trump supporters other, and other Republicans and conservatives, independents, to vent their frustrations over the globalist agenda and the stolen 2020 election, diffuse some of the furor over the 2020 election fraud, and falsely restore conservatives' belief in elections as a road to fixing the system. Number three, diffuse anger over the leftist and globalist pandemic policies. The powers that be want conservatives to drop their guard by thinking we can take our country back through elections. This is a false belief as nothing will change. The system was too corrupt. Actions against globalist tyrannical policies must be focused and continue uh, continue outside of the election system and our criminal and corrupt political system. The system is broken. Do not de- be deceived or misled. We must continue to fight the globalist tyranny with all of our energies. Nothing has changed with last night. The Great Reset, the depopulation agenda is still moving forward. Vaccine mandates are still moving forward. We got some new ones today. And the, P- the powers that be will perhaps relax some things temporarily to put everyone back to sleep. Then they will strike again and ramp up their Agenda 2030 plan to end civilization as we know it. Now, I know that's very grim, and we don't shy away from dabbling with the grim because we had a lot of celebratory and inquisitive um, uh, themes last night. We wanted to know about anomalies. We wanted to know about trends, how this sets up 2022. And as this poster very rightly says, that the indication of what was going on in the hearts and minds of Americans all over the country, once again, is genuine and it's going to continue to trend that way as well i mean it was a crushing outcome a crushing turnout uh in favor of a donald trump second presidency in 2020 crushing all right people were very motivated they were very willing to go out there and do the work and still we were made to swallow one thing or another and it continues to go in that way It's going to continue into 2022. We are not against, we're not going up against some very level-headed, silk-tongued people who know how to moderate their stance and persuade people to their side on the center-left or the far-left in disguise. We're not against that. We are up against absolute crazy-ass monsters, crazy people. They are pushing everybody away. They are the face of a really insidious globalist movement. They are doing the work of the devil here. All right? Now, as far as what's coming, I, I, I still have my private theories about 2022. I don't, I don't know how the hell they're going to allow it to happen if these are the types of results they're having in 2021. That's a year after the $81 million bionic man went in and just completely made history completely dwarfed Obama's history made. So if that's what's going on, I don't know. I heard a lot of people who agree that something big, some kind of a a false flag will happen from now until then. How are you going to dissuade people? Is it going to be another pandemic? Is it going to be ramping up another variant, this and that? Well, guess what? Guess who showed up on the stage just in time? November 4th, 2021 from Sky News. Headline... Microsoft founder Bill Gates warns of bioterrorist attacks and urges world leaders to use germ games to prepare in an interview with Jeremy Hunt. Bill Gates, who is the fourth richest man in the world, said tens of billions will be need, needed to be spent in research and development to prepare for the next pandemic. Remember, and now for those of you who have been watching this show, there's, there, I, I actually there's, there's nobody out there, I believe, who has been watching the show since the beginning. I don't know. I was very, very lonely guy at one point. But especially if I'm going back to 2012, 13, 14, I know we were getting articles based on Bill Gates warning that Disease X is coming one day. In fact, he ramped up the the Disease X stuff again just in 2018. It was only in 2017 that Anthony Fauci guaranteed that Donald Trump would have to go through a pandemic which was not very, not very common 
for generations before that. It's not like you're predicting that there's a hurricane season that's going to be coming around, even though hurricane season seemed to go away under Obama too, huh? <laughs> you know, didn't want to, I don't want to be bothered with any hurricanes, please. So he's coming back around now, this creep. He's coming back around and uh, being creepy old Bill Gates. The founder of Microsoft warned of bioterrorist attacks and has urged world leaders to use germ games to prepare for them. Yes, you know one, what, uh, one germ game that we can prepare for right now, that we can roll out right now? Shut down the fucking borders. Do you know that not one Democrat voted in favor of making it mandatory for illegal aliens who are crossing the border by the tens and hundreds of thousands every month to get them vaccinated? Do you know you know that's only for American workers and uh, and um, uh, you know uh, emergency workers and hospital workers and police and firefighters, first responders, Th- those kind of crushing mandates, those career ending mandates, those are only for us. For, for the people who are crossing over, from all over the world of the southern border without being vetted, getting loaded up into buses and sent all over the country, mainly Westchester, New York. Not one Democrat voted. Those are these people who are, who are only polling positive in, in COVID response. You remember what Chuck Todd was going through all, every night, all throughout the, uh, that list the other night when he's talking about all the ways that Democrats are losing to Republicans right now and how badly Joe Biden is polling. Well, the one thing that was positive for Democrats was people thought that they were the right party for dealing with COVID and for dealing with things like abortion, which are, it's very important. But they are the ones who are making sure that the the Southern border is wide open. So how is it that these people who are for uh, game planning to keeping the world so safe from harm, biological harm, want national borders, immigration law, completely stricken from the books, no vaccination requirements for those who are crawling over the border from unknown reaches of the planet. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. During a sit-down interview with the chair of the Health Select Committee, Jeremy Hunt, for the think tank Policy Exchange, Mr. Gates suggested germ games could be used to practice how to respond to such events. He also called for the formation of new billion-dollar World Health Organization Pandemic Task Force. All right, so Gates is warning of bio-attacks already. As you know, we're also under attack from the climate. And soon, cyber pandemic that they have been telling us for a while, and also game planning for that. 